most common way for sending SMS is using a mobile. Let's see how a mobile sends an SMS. A mobile sends an SMS through a SMS center dedicated to the GSM operator, which will forward the SMS to the recipient. Let's replace the mobile by a T-box. box equipped with a GSM and let's take a look at a T-Box GSM. In the front we have the connection for the antenna and the SIM card which is a standard SIM card is inserted at the back of the GSM. Let's now take a look in which condition the T-Box will send an SMS. T-Box sent an SMS when there is an alarm. An alarm happens in T-Box that requires the sending of an SMS. This SMS is sent to the center and the SMS center will send the SMS to the recipient. In case the recipient needs to confirm it has received the SMS, it is able to send an SMS back to the center, which will be returned to the T-Box, which will acknowledge the alarm. Let's take a look in Twinsoft how we configure SMS. We are now in Twinsoft and we will start by defining the RTU properties. There we will select the country where the T-Box is installed. And this is very important in order to access to the GSM operator of this country. Let's go to the resources and in the resources we will add an IO card. The IO card in our case is a MS GSM and as configuration nothing to do except if your SIM card requires a PIN code you will type this PIN code in this field. I don't have any pin code onto my SIM card. Then let's take a look into the alarms folder. In this folder I have a recipient folder which correspond to the mobile of the recipient I want to send the message to. I type its name, I select the service pager SMS and I see automatically all the service available in the country where my T-Box has been installed. In my case I work with this GSM operator and I just type the phone number of John. The recipient is done. I will now define the event that will generate this alarm. Uh, this event, we call it condition, is based on a tag. I select a tag. Let's imagine that I want to generate an SMS when a tag reach a certain level. I select the maximum type, I select the value at which I want the SMS to be sent with an hysteresis. Then I select the recipient and the message I want to send him. In case I want the recipient to confirm he has received the SMS and I want him to send back an SMS to the T-Box, I will check this option. If I just want to send the SMS without any confirmation, I just click OK. Now my T-Box is ready to send an SMS. I just need to send the application and the T-Box will send the alarm when the event happens. In addition to alarm management, SMS can be used also to control T-Box. On the same way that a recipient can send an SMS to acknowledge an alarm, the recipient can send a message to control T-Box. It is also possible using SMS to send data logging, which is very useful for low power application which requires very little communication time. In conclusion, using standard technology and basic configuration, it's very easy to control and to monitor T-Box using SMS. Excuse me, but I just received an SMS 
I think it's an SMS from Mighty Box, and as you can see, with a very old-fashioned mobile, it even works.